Next up, we've got the pre-fade buttons. Okay, so the pre-fade buttons is a, is a bit of industry jargon. Pre-fade means listening to it before the fader, and it's pre-fade. So the reason you do that is if I, if I play a piece of audio, okay, so I've got a song playing for, on the green channel here, and it's broadcasting because the fader is up. So let's say I want to play something in the red channel next. Now, if I want to check to see if that's the right piece of audio, I can't just press play because with the fader up, I would actually be able to hear it on air. So what I want to do is shut the fader and press the pre-fade button. Now I can listen to it and check it's the right piece of audio. I can also check that the volume is correct on the meter and adjust the trim if I need to. And it's not being broadcast because the fader is down, but the pre-fade button allows us to listen to it. So if I'm happy, I can now requeue it, put the fader back up. You notice as soon as I put the fader back up, the pre-fade button automatically turned off. I can manually turn it off as well. The pre-fade is particularly useful for microphones because this allows you to pre-fade when a guest comes into the studio, you can pre-fade their channel, ask them to speak into the microphone, adjust the, their levels with the trim pot so that you know when time comes to put them to air, you just put the fader up and their volume will be relatively the same as yours. Faders are up next, really simple. They're like the volume control on your telly. If it's at the bottom, it's um, totally off. If it's at the top, it's at full volume. And in general terms, we wanna be either at the bottom or at the top on the faders. So if I play something, hear the volume going up and down on that track. In general terms, we're either at the top or the bottom, but sometimes we want to be in the middle. So let's say we wanted to speak over the top of this track, we would put the microphone fader up full, but we might turn the volume of the music down to around 20, 20 on there so that we can actually talk over the top. Um, and the reason instantly you can't hear the music when the microphone is on is the SRM, like all broadcast mixers, turns off the speakers whenever the microphones are on to avoid any feedback from the speakers to the microphones. So as I turn the, the volume down on the microphone, I put the fader back up on the stereo channel. 